The intro to this video was actually the last thing I considered when writing down the thoughts I wanted to share today. It's supposed to hook your attention and keep you interested just long enough to listen to what I have to say. So I was trying to write down something to keep you interested and well, that was it. There have been many points in my life where I find myself going down online rabbit holes, searching for answers to a particular question that I'm asking myself. Most recently, that has been around the question of what is purpose? All the while, growing increasingly frustrated and unhappy. I spend my morning train rides into work and my evenings after work, watching YouTubers, self-help gurus, reading Wikipedia articles and books of people discussing purpose and what purpose is and how purpose works. We're talking literal hours, days and weeks doing this. My questions seem endless and relentless with my head feeling full with all the information I'm consuming, just weighing me down. But today, something happened in my mind and I had to stand back and ask myself something. Am I asking the right questions? After all, if I'm gonna spend all this time researching, spending it online, reading and watching other people's opinions, then I'd better be spending it on the right questions. Otherwise, well, I'm just wasting my very limited time on earth. Naturally, my brain then asked, well, Liam, what is right? And just like that, I could see it. Another rabbit hole. Another day or week or month of answering that question. When I was 13 years old, I fell in love with the guitar. There was absolutely nothing else I wanted to do with my day. Every day, I wanted to find a new challenge. I wanted to play a new song, and every day I wanted it to get increasingly harder. New styles, new techniques, new genres. It became an obsession. That obsession turned into me playing that instrument for 10, 12 hours a day, endlessly, blisters on my fingers. Until, next thing, I'm playing songs that other people are looking around me and saying, how are you playing that? And within a few short months, I was playing songs that people were shocked by. At least they hadn't seen a 13 year old play like that, at least not where I'm from. Now learning this incredible skill at an early age, playing like men three, four times my age, making some jealous, inspiring others to also play. Through all of that, through that obsession, I didn't know my purpose. I wasn't sitting online watching YouTubers or reading self-help books or consulting with my priest or pastor. I wasn't confused by my existence, my reality. I was playing guitar. I wasn't wasting time thinking, getting deeper in thought, getting ever increasingly frustrated and unhappy. I was doing. Each and every day, I was taking action towards my vision of being an incredible guitar player, playing in stage in front of crowds, being able to play guitar solos in front of people, or sharing the joy of playing music with other incredible musicians. Each day I was getting happier, growing in my skill as a guitarist, each day achieving something and being able to play something that just a few days before I couldn't. I was watching myself grow in real time, being able to enhance myself, my skills. My mind was clear and it was focused. My brain was telling my fingers what to do and I kept going at it until it was doing it. I kept pushing until I was able to achieve the vision of playing on stage in front of crowds. Just nine days ago, I turned 28. The only difference between 13 year old Liam and 28 year old Liam is I started doing less and thinking more. I became less of a man of action and more of a man of inaction. I became less clear and more confused and frustrated, I became less happy and more unhappy. Now you may be going through something similar. There's a question that you're endlessly trying to answer, spending countless hours reading everybody else's opinions and trying to find that answer. You're asking every variation and every sub question within that question, just trying to get at the root, trying to get at it. For me, that was asking, what is my purpose? And specifically, what is my purpose as a man? All thought, 
no action. It's most likely that there is a man out there right now, this very second, living a life that you would dream of living. He's got everything that you could ever want or desire. That could be a man with a beautiful family, with his loving wife and children, a great career and good social network. It could be a man that lives in a mega mansion, hosting amazing parties for the world's most beautiful people to attend. Now here's the thing, that man living your dream life, that either inspires you or is making you jealous to be like him. Guess what? He doesn't know what purpose is. He doesn't have an answer. But yet he's achieved a life that other men desire and experienced things that other men will never experience. This illustrates what hit me so hard. I was wasting time not on asking the wrong questions. No. I was wasting time on thinking. At some point you have to recognize that seeking ultimate truth is like seeking perfection. It doesn't exist. There have been tens of thousands of people before us, philosophers, great thinkers, in pursuit of answering these questions, purpose, meaning, existence. They've devoted their entire lives to searching for answers to those questions. And as a result, we have boundless information around the topic. So much so that the cumulative knowledge of all human information, as we have it on the internet, is full of absolutely useless information to you in your current circumstances. And yet that information is occupying your brain. It's weighing you down. It's making you less of a man of action and more of a man of inaction. Because despite us not knowing the answers to what purpose is or existence or the meaning of life, emperors have been built and fallen. There have been great men. There have been leaders. There have been great strides in innovations. Why? Action. Stop thinking and start taking action. And it's a scary thought if you're anything like me. The fact is that when I was a little kid, I was more of a man of action then than I am now as an adult. What prompted me to make this video was a promise I made myself to get my first online member by the end of April. I didn't. I spent my time wasting on thinking about what my purpose is. And sitting here, knowing that I'm going to die, probably sooner than I think, I feel absolutely dumb with how much time I've wasted. I wanted to share this with you, because if you find yourself thinking, filling your head with information, unable to find answers, just step back and ask, is this bringing me what I want? Is this going to relieve my anxiety? Is this going to relieve my stress? Is this going to help me achieve my desired life? Or are you sitting there, your head full of information, weighing you down, scrolling social media, looking at other men and saying, how did he do that? Those men don't have the answers. The only thing that they're doing is they're not wasting their time thinking. They are taking action each and every day towards whatever it is that's in their head. They are out there each and every day, giving it everything they have without hesitation, being courageous to grow and change and experience everything life has to offer them. Now, if you're already thinking, well, what action should I be taking? And already typing into social media what actions you should take as a man. Stop. Just stop. You have that voice inside of you. It may be very quiet, but it's there and it's telling you something. Stop ignoring it and take action just like you did when you were a kid. You don't need to solve world hunger 
or put an end to social injustice. All of these things inevitably end up in you thinking and thinking and thinking. Stop it. Look in your circumstances and take action. Now go tell your parents you love them, whether they're here with us or not. Just take that simple action. Let it clear your mind. Let it make you a little happier. And I hope that sharing my thoughts has helped in some way.